Is it a delivery truck? Oh man, there's nobody there. It's okay, buddy. I'm just worried about the fishies. Uh-oh, I know that look. See, when Jimmy gets really worried, that's what he does. Here he is in Mauritius, worried about his luggage making it on the plane. And look, boom, right there, same pose. Jimmy is super worried right now. Oh man. All right, track these guys. What? Delayed? <sighs> Jimmy. Hey, dude. How's my favorite newbie reefer? <laughs> uh, all is, well, I was gonna say all is good, but not everything is good. Oh no, is your tank leaking? No, the tank looks great, but uh, my fish that you ordered up for me are not here. And I track them, and it says delayed. First of all, you're very likely, you, well, I don't know about you, I hope you're okay. The fish are very likely going to be okay. I've had shipments get delayed multiple days, and assuming they're shipped properly, which the Biota guys and girls do, Everything is fine. And it's a great time of year to be shipping because it's not overly hot and not overly cold in Florida. So I'll call you back and I'll talk through this thing. All right. Okay, Jimmy, I've tracked the package and what is going to happen most likely is they're going to deliver it the next business day. Here's the thing that's really crazy about this. Yeah, I'm with you and infuriating. It's sitting at the terminal in the truck, but it's after the morning sort and they won't do anything for you. I've called them before, I'm like, hey, can you go get it off the truck? It's sitting on your lot. They're like, no, we can't do anything until the next day sort. So it's gonna sit there for 18 hours and then they're gonna sort it. So that being said, things are probably fine. The fish probably have plenty of water. They're gonna be just fine. Corals, I'm less concerned about. I've had those things get delayed for like three or four days and they're fine. Wait, hold on. You said corals. Did you send me corals? Oh, I spilled the beans. Yes, I sent you corals as well. Really? Awesome, dude. Yes. So, that being said, once you get the box, because it hopefully shows up tomorrow, what do you do? First, be home to receive the box. Don't add hours to the shipment because you aren't home. And here's a pro tip. Call FedEx and be like, hey, can I pick the box up at the station? That way you don't have to wait for it to go on the truck and go all around. Just say, hey, I'll come pick it up. My station opens at 8.30, so I can be there first thing, grab it, take the delivery truck time out of the picture, and go ahead and bring the fish back. Okay, I'm like only half listening to you because I'm just thinking, this is great to have instructions what to do when they come, but they're not here today. And then maybe they won't be here tomorrow. And then I'm like, oh man, come on. So. Uh, it's a good thing that I'm videoing this. I'll have to go back and watch it. But it's exactly the process I did last time when I got fish. So I'm, I, I think I got a handle on what to do when they get here. But I'm like, okay, Mark, great. But I'm, what? I'm not even listening to you. I understand you're a concerned reefer parent, which is good. And here's another great reason, the quarantine fish. Those fish travel, they've been in the bag for 36, 48 hours they're likely going to be a little more stressed than if it was a regular transport time. So if we then took those fish and chunked them in your display tank with all the other fish that are used to living there, it can add stress to them. So putting them in the quarantine tank, giving them a safe place to chill out, recover, come back around, and then we can get them eating again, get them really conditioned, and then put them in your tank. Second, open the box in a dark room. This is especially important because they've been in pitch black for so long. Don't light shock them by opening the box in a bright room to check on them. Then you want to do an extended acclimation. 30 minutes minimum floating in the quarantine tank. Next, add an ammonia locking product like Seachem Prime. 
This will stabilize any ammonia as the pH of the water rises during drip acclimation. Then do a 30 to 45 minute drip acclimation. The parameters of the water in the bags could be far off from the quarantine tank, so you want to slowly bring the water in the fish bags to the same parameters as a quarantine tank. Did you hear my dog barking? Is it FedEx? Did they show up early? <laughs> you made me look at the door. I'm rolling my chair back to look at the door. No, it's not FedEx. Not gonna happen. Sorry. Since the shipment isn't showing up today, nothing to do but kill some time. <sighs> Come on. Oh, come on. Straight away. Oh. I'm not going to hear the doorbell from here. Here we go, drum roll please. First little fishy is not, oh, what is that? Oh, they don't label the bags. They don't label the bags. I'm gonna need some help identifying that little guy. Oh no. <gasps> it's a clam. I have a clam. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this guy. I see if we can turn him around. Look at that. Okay, what's next? Oh, those are corals. Or are they? It's like an urchin or something. Ooh, that guy's darting all around. He's tiny. Okay, one bag left, and I see blue. Yes. Woo, there she is. She's alive, there's my tang. Okay, that's it, there's the new fish. Now time to go to work. I gotta get upstairs and, and uh, get these guys in my quarantine tank and start my quarantine process. I'm gonna drip acclimate them. Um, I've been testing the water in there. Some of the water's out of here, and I actually took some little rocks this time that I've had inside uh, this tank for a while. And I'm using that for in, in place of the uh, Dr. Tim's nitrifying bacteria. If you saw our uh, quarantine tank episode, um, I put Dr. Tim's in there to get that tank started. So in this case, Mark said, Take some, put some little rock bits in here. That'll uh, accumulate with those and that'll take the place of that. So that's something new that I haven't done before. I've got the little rocks in there and uh, now I'm ready to go drip acclimate them and get them into quarantine. Very exciting. Everybody's alive, 48 hours. Awesome. Okay, so I got my drip line going down into my bucket with my new fish. And I've got it going at a just a little slow drip. Now something I did different this time is I used a much smaller bucket that will actually fit in the top of my quarantine tank. So once these guys have acclimated in here for about 30 minutes, I can uh, dump some of that water out so it's a low volume. And then I left enough room for the volume of water in here and I can dump them, uh, put the bucket right down in there and let them swim out. Okay, so I've got my clam and my urchins in the bucket here, and uh, they've been drip acclimated, and they're ready to go into the display tank. I just called Mark to ask him how to do it. And he said, put the clam in the sand bed and the urchins on the rocks. So I've got two little urchins, and be really gentle with them. So 
So I've been uh, drip acclimating these guys for about 30 minutes. They're ready to go into the quarantine tank. Okay, here we go. Everyone's out of the bucket. So they've been in quarantine a little while and everybody's swimming. Even Dory's waking up. So uh, it's looking great.